all this filament, an empty printer. Let's print what you want. It's Filament Friday. This week's print was suggested by Mark Poffenbarger. He asked me a couple weeks ago if I could try printing this on my machine. It's got outer bearings that spin and then they pivot on the inside. There's a smaller version with only three bearings and that's the one I chose to print. So let's see how it goes. And here's the final print. It looks like things fuse together a little bit, but let's check it out. Okay, so I took the print out, and here it is. And I printed with support, so it's got a bunch of crap on the bottom. But it didn't take much to get this thing to pivot. It pivots actually quite easily. So that was kind of cool. But then I started to look at the bearings and tried to, to spin them. No, <laughs> it's not happening. I prodded it, I flexed it, I, I did everything I could think of, including getting there with a knife trying to cut some free. I thought if I could just get the outer ring to spin, that would be great. No. No, this is a, this is a fail. No, I thought, well, you know what I'll do? I'll print at point one, because this was printed at point two. I'll print at point one, and no supports. That's this one. And it's worse. I mean, this thing barely pivots. I really got to force it. The, the balls are just fused together. Um, the circles aren't even as good. I, point one is useless on these things. Um, mainly, I don't think it's the machine. I think it's the software, XYZ, where it's just, it doesn't slice as well for stuff like this. You really got to design in a larger cap if you want to do that. So I think this is a print that I'm going to say is a fail, but I'm going to set it aside and save this design for maybe when I get Simplify 3D, which I plan to get, and try and see if, if this one then passes. That'll be a real test of how much better that software is. So that's the summary, but I don't want to leave you guys with a fail. So I got another fun one. Let me show you. So here's a train whistle from Thingiverse user Mike P. It was suggested by subscriber Jimmy Lupa Lupa. Love that name. It's a train whistle that puts out two different tones. And there's two versions, one with the words on top and one without. So I printed the ones without, and I printed it standing up because I didn't want to use supports. And I looked at the design, and that was clearly the better way to do it. So let's see how that turned out. Okay, so I printed this one at night, so I didn't put a uh, time lapse on it. Not a big deal. But the print is finished, and it's been sitting here, so it comes off real easy. And it looks like the bottom just needs a little bit of cleanup. Just these holes here, because this is, you know, I got it set back to smoosh down, so it held its place. So all I do is just take an X-Acto knife and just kind of scrape away at that first layer that got smooshed down. I don't have to take much off because there's not that much there. So that's cleaned up. So now we can try it. Let's see if this thing whistles. Not bad. Train whistle. There's two whistles in this thing. There's that one. And a higher pitch, but together. You can give this to a grandkid and drive their parents nuts. <laughs> I don't have any grandkids, but it's an idea for the future. Anyway, there you have it. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. That way I know you're watching. And if you have an idea for Filament Friday, put it in the comments below and I'll try to get it in a future episode. Thanks for watching.